Yeah, we've got your friend Malcolm here. An elementary mistake, Rookie. I have no friends, but I do have a very particular set of skills. A set of skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Hello, Isabel. That's Malcolm here. <laughs> My million pound question is... Is Miss Pickwell A. The Demon Headmaster in drag? B. Rose McWest? <laughs> Andy Murray's mother! Or D, an angry Scottish chicken! <laughs> now, Miss Pickwell has gone missing. She's done a klaxons and vanished without a trace. I don't want to point the finger, but it seems Chickengate may have something to do with it. Mitchell made me do it. You egg him on. That boy brings pranking to a new level, right? The other day, he locked Joe in a cupboard, then recorded him screaming for help and said it is the ringtone on Joe's own phone. Can't change it. <laughs> it's classic Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Isabel. The 5 O have found her car on the 7 Bridge, Bristol. They're afraid something might have happened to her. Well, I wouldn't worry. They've stopped burning witches, even in the West Country. It's a note from Pickwell. If you are reading this note, I am dead. <gasps> oh, my God. I am dead. I've jumped from the Severn Bridge. But don't blame yourselves. There is only one person with blood on their hands. Al. Al. Lan Shira. He is my least favourite pundit on Match of the Day, whose name is Alan. I way prefer Alan Hansan. The end. Oh, wow. She clearly went completely insane. I know. Shira's amazeballs on Motida. Ironic, too, jumping into a river. Shira hates players that dive. <laughs> it's too soon. Thanks very much, guys. Bloody pigs. <laughs> oh, it's a clingy smell, isn't it, bacon? <laughs> These suicides don't get any easier. That's the fifth teacher that's, uh, <laughs> since I've been here. Still gets you. It's just such a shock. Well, thank God it's not like poor old Mr Rawlinson. I mean, an orange in the mouth is weird, but a papaya? Where'd you even buy a papaya? Poor little Jeremy Goss found him. It has been a battle trying to get him to eat his five a day. Fraser, um, Isabel's position. Obviously, we could never replace her. She was deputy head of hearts. But this school needs a Camilla, and that is the ugly truth. So, whilst I find someone full-time, I'm going to need an interim deputy. Someone with people skills. Respect from the student body. A feminine touch. Miss G, you're hired. Oh, wow. <laughs> Me. Mm. Me. <laughs> Re-interviewing for the permanent deputy head role, I'm going to need another set of eyes. Rosie, you'll be busy interiming. Alf? Yeah, fine. I guess it is quite important that we find a permanent replacement pretty pronto, before the power corrupts you. No, what's to tell the kids about this mess? We should tell them the truth. And the suicide can be very distressing. Let's tell the children a little white lie so as not to upset them.